In this video, we'll take a look at how you can use your data from Huddle Assist to make a player highlight. To get started, open a game. Then, using the filters from the Insight module, we can quickly find the moments that we're looking for. For this example, we'll select when our team is batting. From the batting results card, we'll select doubles and triples to highlight our extra base hits. We'll see that all three of these clips go to our athlete Taylor Sweet. From here, we can highlight the blue circle above the column to select all of these clips. Now we can send all three clips to our player highlights. You'll see now that it may take a few minutes to appear on our profile, but next we'll jump into how to create these highlights. To back out of the video, select the arrow in the upper left hand corner, then hover over your name and select your highlights. From the athlete's highlight page, you'll see any previously created highlights along with clips that we've sent from previous games. Here we can see the three clips that we've submitted from the Huddle Central game. You'll see that these play as is, back to back to back. To create a premium highlight, we'll go back to our profile. Then select Create Highlight. Here is our highlight editor. First, we can give our highlight a title. Then select the theme. Once we've done this, we can use the blue plus button in the bottom right hand corner to add content to our reel. First we'll add our video clips from our Huddle Central game. Here we can select all clips and add them to our reel. Once we back out of this menu, we'll be able to edit each clip individually by using the pencil icon. Here we can trim the clip so only the necessary part of the video makes the highlight reel. We can also add spot shadows. These are based off of the theme that you've selected and can be resized and dragged across the video. Use the scrubber on the video timeline to select the moment that you'd like this to play. Once we've added this, you'll see the spot shadow appear and pause the video for a split second to emphasize your highlight. We can also rearrange the clips in which order they appear in the highlight by dragging them across the timeline. Lastly, add some music to your reel. You'll see that this automatically clips to the length of the highlight. The last two pieces of content you can add to a highlight reel are slides and photos. This can be great for sharing academic or athletic achievements and giving your highlight a little bit more of a personal touch. Once you're happy with your reel, select publish. Here you'll see that you can share this link on Facebook, Twitter, or grab the URL to share directly with recruiters.